Hey you all and welcome back to episode 2 of season 2 for Simple Girl Simple World. I'm Heather Purnell here, your host with the mostest, and this is the first time that we're going live. So for all of y'all listening, this is our tease, our normal tease, where I'm just going to give you an overview of what you can expect on tomorrow's episode. And for those of you watching right here, welcome. Um, I will be posting these here on my Instagram page every Sunday at Simple Girl Simple World, and then on Mondays, they'll be on YouTube, our actual physical podcast or the interview. So... To dive right on in, this week's podcast is going to be about relaunching your life, how to get unstuck, what that looks like, what is it causing you to, you know, self-pity and just be in your stuckness. <laughs> um, I, this is a, such an important topic to me simply because for a long time, if y'all were listening to um, season one, you know that in college, the younger years of my life, I, I was really stuck. I felt I was doing a lot of things to appease and please other people. I really didn't have the direction and focus that I wanted to for my personal self. And what that did for me was it made me realize that I was living the life of somebody else's purpose and not a life of my own. And that's very scary. As you start to approach your adult years, you don't want to be living like that. You want to do things that are going to make you happy. You want to be around people that are going to make you happy, that are going to uplift your spirits and your heart. And so it took me a while, but when I got into Denver after graduating college, that's when I really started to work on myself. I got closer to God. I was dealing with the little things, battling back and forth, but I got closer. I drew closer to my creator. I grew closer to what I knew, and I actually started to learn things for myself. What that did for me was it opened my eyes to a possibility that I had never imagined. I never knew like how life could feel when you start living for yourself, when you start fulfilling your own purpose. And so to me, it was amazing. It had took me though, getting unstuck. It took me relaunching my life. It took me sitting down, weighing out the pros and cons, letting myself know how real I am being with myself to see what I like about myself, to see what I dislike about myself, to understand why I'm being hesitant, to understand why I don't feel valuable or that my purpose isn't going to to help anybody, you know? It took me a long time, but I'm at a place now especially that I live out my purpose. Um, I started Simple Girl Simple World because it was a part of one of my steps to get unstuck. I needed to let my voice be heard. I needed to touch many. That That's what I feel like my calling is to do, is to be a voice, is to be a light, is to be a vessel, and to use the words that I say to somehow impact other people's lives, to help people get out of situations that they may not have any idea on how they got there or they have no, no belongings there anyway. So that's what I'm here to do. But in brief, I would say getting unstuck, there's no one time button that fixes everything it's it's a daily a daily doing a daily recollection acknowledgement of where you are and where you want to be and it's being real with yourself it's touching base and touching into that higher power that you believe in whether it's god whether it's allah ja um the virgin mary i'm sorry excuse my lack of um figuring out other people's gods right now it's early sunday morning but whatever it is that you believe in whether it's the earth the environment big bang whatever you believe in touching base with that power and understanding that they are your creator and that everything that they have set over your life is going to be so moral of the story is we have one life to live um you know i was really um starting to think to myself that 2020 has been a year of ultimate just like heartbreak and I mean the circle of life we get it you know people come into the world and people leave the world every single day but it's into the capacity that has happened this year it's more or less like noticing the trends look at Kobe juice world pop smoke um, just everybody who died that were being impactful whether it be through their music whether it be through their film and production whether it be through their words look at everybody who's gone and it's starting I'm starting to notice that people who were walking in their purpose or walking in the purpose that was helping and being a voice to many are leaving this world early and so that's why I'm saying like we can't take life for granted we can't sit around and be stuck and sad and confused and worrying about things that we can't control we must take what we're good at what we understand now in this present moment and live it out be a voice amongst many in any capacity you can with anything you can maybe you're not a speaker you know do something that you can do maybe you write music do that to your your fullest ability but in all aspects get unstuck relaunch your life sit down and realize what it is that like 
you don't want to be doing and don't do it do something better so that's the tease that I have for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be talking more about how and what steps you can actually take to get unstuck. Um, giving you a little bit more like hard factual information that you could take and apply to your daily life. And um, <clears throat> from there, I hope that for this week the challenge is going to be mainly, sorry, um, start to think about how you can relaunch your life. Start to think about if you are stuck what's caused you to get there and if you aren't stuck just think about what else you can add to your life to enhance what you already are currently doing that's great i challenge you to do that we'll touch base tomorrow but in the meantime thanks for tuning in to simple girls of the world and hope you'll have an amazing sunday